Hi there and welcome to another video in our series of short clips on aspects of behavioural economics. In this session we're going to look at bounded rationality. So bounded rationality derives from the fact that consumers and businesses don't have enough full information to make a well-informed, you could say perfectly informed judgment about what to buy, what to consume, what to make. So bounded rationality is the idea that the cognitive decision-making capacity of, of humans cannot be fully rational because of a number of limits that we face, one of which is the complexity of products. Bewildering complexity, particularly when it comes to things like pensions and savings schemes and uh, you know the complexity of individual products in the supermarket. Uh, bounded rationality is, is limited by the amount of time that we have to make our decisions. Often we are time scarce, we can't weigh up all the factors. There are limits to the capacity of the human brain to, to process every piece of information and consider every possibility. So the result is that instead of maximising with bounded rationality, the majority of consumers and businesses will opt to satisfy rather than maximise. Satisfy is a combination of satis satisfactory and sufficient. So the result is we end up making satisfying decisions rather than optimising decisions. Now the crucial point is that bounded rationality is not the same as people behaving irrationally. What's happening is that people are making a choice, a decision, uh, as rationally as possible given the circumstances and given the limits that people face. So when you think about bounded rationality, link that with the concept of satisficing. Satisfies, suffice. Nearly all people and businesses adopt rules of, rules of thumb and operate in a kind of satisfactory mode rather than trying to maximise all the time. That is the essence of bounded rationality.